Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI. And this is a 67-year-old female with complaints of pain in her forefoot. The doctor thought she had Freiburg infraction was the diagnosis. She had pain around the second metatarsal head. And with Freiburg infraction, typically the patients have a shorter first metatarsal bone. They have abnormal stress. They theorize on the second metatarsal head, and they can get uh, collapse of the second metatarsal head, marrow edema, and flattening the articular surface. This patient does not have marrow edema here. There's a little bit of flattening of that uh, head on this view. We don't really appreciate it in the other view. So without the really prominent deformity and marrow edema, it does not fit with the diagnosis of a Freiburg infraction. The other metatarsal heads also look good. We can put up another view like this. Look for marrow edema, and there's no significant marrow edema. But now we're going to look at one more thing. So Patients who have pain in this region, they can have a Freiburg infraction or also they can get tears in their plantar plates. It's a very common diagnosis. And to look for that, we're going to look on this view. The plantar plate is a broad ligamentous sling that goes underneath the metatarsophalangeal joint. And on this view, we can see this dark line cupped around the front and bottom of this uh, metatarsal head here. So this is the third metatarsal head. This is the plantar plate. We're catching part of it here. It looks like a nice dark band. And over here, we're going to look at the second metatarsal head, and we do not see that band. So right in this region, it's foggy and irregular. It looks like this is torn, the second plantar plate. Here's the medial side of it. Here's the lateral side of it. And over here on this sagittal view, through the same, um, you know, through the second, second metatarsal head here, we can see the plantar plate here along the medial side looking pretty normal. It goes underneath the metatarsal head to the base of the proximal phalanx. And you say, hey, that looks pretty good. This dark band here. Now we're going to go one more cut lateral. And here you can see it is torn, ill-defined. And right over here, we don't see it at all. So they have a tear of their lateral plantar plate of the second metatarsal phalangeal joint. Again, here's the third one looking good. We're going to roll over to the third one to look see what a normal one looks like. Nice, beautiful, thick, dark band. There's a nice sling underneath there. So it's a normal plantar plate. And this is the torn plantar plate of the second metatarsal phalangeal joint. And that's what's causing their symptoms. They also have this bursal effusion bursitis beneath the inferior extensor retinaculum over here. And a few other findings, but this is the main one over here. Plantar plate tear. And thank you very much.